Thank you so much. So I put out um, two albums last year, and uh, the reason for doing so was I, I, I create a lot of music all the time, and usually when I put albums together, it's over the course of like four years, and I choose specific songs for specific moments on, on the record, but at the start of 2022, I had a load of stuff happen, happen in my personal life, and when, when things happen to me, good or bad, I write, I write songs. And sometimes, if there are good things happening to me and I write happy songs, they're sort of like, they're just there. But sometimes when you write songs about sad experiences in your life, you're so sort of like connected to that song that it feels like the only thing you can do is just release it into the world and kind of like forget about it, I guess. But um, So I put out two records last year that were sort of intertwined. This was the, uh, the last song that I finished for, uh, for the, the first one of them, which is called Subtract. The song is about uh, my friend Jamal who passed away and um, it, 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 was, it was a very sudden thing and I'm sure people, everyone in this stadium has lost someone and sometimes, you know, I've lost family members where it's been a gradual thing, you can prepare yourself for it but when you lose someone suddenly, you go through denial, you, you go, this can't be true, I don't believe it and, you know, when I was told that he, he died, I didn't believe it, all the way up to his funeral, I didn't believe it, I thought that I would bump into him in West London where we both live and uh, it wasn't until the funeral where it hit home that I would never see him again but this song was written in that in-between period when I still held a bit of hope. With eyes closed. We have Ashton, everyone say hi Ashton. <laughs> Drums over here, we have the brilliant Dexter. Everyone say hello Dexter. <laughs> now I have toured with a loop pedal since I was 14 years old. And when I say touring when I was 14, thank you. It was, it was on a train, it wasn't, it wasn't necessarily international touring, it was uh, England touring. But I have been playing shows, just me, on stage since, since I was 14. And, um, the decision to get a band for this tour sort of came through. I, uh, in 2018 I was on tour in America and I was based in Nashville and I had a studio in the house and I was making a lot of music for fun and artists would come by the house and we would make songs and before I know it I had a project which turned into number six collaborations project which was made out of just being at home in Nashville making tunes. But when it came time to sort of like do anything with that you know it's, a, it's it's an album that's based on collaborations and it's a very different sound to the music that i usually make there wasn't lots of acoustic guitars in it and it certainly wasn't made for loop pedal so i was just like i'm never going to tour this album it will just exist how it exists and then when i was putting the set list together for this tour i thought it was a big shame to leave off some songs from that record but some songs from that record did become successful so called up these guys and we've jammed it out and uh we've uh We've got a medley of um, some of the collaborations, and I hope you hope you like it. I've been a liar, I've been a thief, been a lover, I've been a cheat, my friend. That the songs up to this point have not been sing-alongs. But I'm saying the songs after this point are the songs that your grandmother knows. Because Dubai, if you do not know the words of this song, you are at the wrong concert. When your legs are wet, it's to be entertained and sing out of tune. That is your job. And when I say sing out of tune, all I mean is I don't need you. And it's because you've been a great audience that I would I, I, I know that I can make this ne next request and, 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 and you'll get it. Um, I want to play a song that was not on the setlist. And the reason that I want to play this song that isn't on the setlist 
is because I really, really like the atmosphere, the atmosphere in here tonight. And, um, but the way that this song works is, you know, a lot of this gig, I love a raucous stadium gig, I love screaming, I love dancing, I love jumping, but occasionally I can sense when an audience can be still and quiet. And on this song, I would love, just, just for this song, and I don't want to tell you how to enjoy your concert, because I, I, I feel weird when people are paid to see a concert, and then the artist goes, you have to do this, and you have to do this, because this is your hard-earned money that you paid for these tickets, and you can enjoy it the way that you want to. But I'm saying, on this song, it will be beautiful if the whole stadium is just still and quiet. If we just send around a universal shh. 